off scot free. He thinks if we are kissing the if, like if you're yeah. kissing the pig, he doesn't yeah. think he has to. But I, I know. But since he was on the morning show for so long and he's new to our ship, I still think either way he loses. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's he he's technically with us now, but his heart still. So it's with the, the morning, morning team, and we just tell Colby <laughs> to come to work a little bit earlier. He kisses. <laughs> it doesn't matter who wins. Okay, he'll kiss something. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, you know what? Uh, today we were out there, right? And oh, yeah. I didn't even realize this when. Well, okay, so we were all out there. Uh, Jed took a little nap, and I sat down next to him, and we tried to make this thing into a bed. It can be exhausting. Didn't. It really can That fair? Be. Oh. That tent. But yeah. Look at the sign. I didn't even realize. We, we got to think, I guess, Relax Houston. Relax and recharge. Hunt this. <laughs> Houston Hunt, VP upstairs. It says, uh, what's it say? Relax, Relax and, recharge. and recharge. Right. <laughs> yeah. And well, you did. I did. I found it. So, uh, you know what? There you go. You know, I slept uh, for like an hour and a half. I missed the whole... Yeah, he, he got, to, he got to work at like four in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> I just got up. And he, he got David got home at four in the morning. I did. Yeah, long late night out. I went down to Blanchard. Hey, oh, no. this is how we do it. <laughs> went down and kind of reached Sorry. out to some Millers and that clan down there. Man. Me town. Don't get Bobby uh, started about I Blanchard. I, I got to get through my weather cast. I don't have time to hear Move about. Move on. It. I know. Here we go. Anyway, so we were down there this morning. Now, here's the real picture. No, 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 go back to that control room. Go back to that one more time. There's the real picture of the day. Uh, Bobby Miller, everybody knows her, right? On the left, this is Bobby. Not <laughs> to be confused you. with Carl. <laughs> and I'm stuck in the middle. I look like I'm about uh, two foot, three and a half, whatever feet tall. And that's fine. But uh, Carl fine. is a giant. And there's Jed and Lacey, of course, back in it. And, and uh, Hank Brown. So we had a good time down there. We'll be out there the next 10 days, the whole time during the fair. Uh, morning, afternoon, evening, and yada, 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 yada. All right, so today, wave of energy coming out. Most of the energy, the compact part of this whole deal is really across Kansas tonight. But we had severe weather today in our panhandle and a couple of storms still hugging the Oklahoma-Kansas border. A few more showers out around Beaver. Woodward, you had a little bit of rain here this evening. That's nearly gone, and this thunderstorm north of 64 is just going to hug the border pretty much the next several hours. But uh, most of the action... It looked like earlier, or early last night, and today we would bring this farther south, at least into Harper County, but yeah, it's, it's kind of just staying to your north. A little bit of hail out of that, nickel and dime size, and that is about it. Hey, let's jump ahead, talking about this weekend. 11 o'clock kickoff, OU taking on Nebraska, big game up in Lincoln, 70s into the 80s, not bad, breezy south wind. There will be a slight chance for a shower during the game, and later in the day, OSU kickoff at 6 o'clock, hot. Low to mid 90s, cooling into the mid 80s. So, yeah, warm up there. Both games, yes, for the most part, will be dry. The OSU game certainly will be dry. State Fair is alive and well on the first day on a Thursday night. 68 degrees in Oklahoma City. Our Pike Pass guy can network. And that is our Mathis Brothers Cam looking at the State Fair. Our humidity right now at 57%. So, temperatures here at 10 o'clock, yeah, 60s, 70s, warmest in the west. Higher humidity out here, a little more wind keeping those temperatures up tonight. The big view, the jet stream, it's still summer, folks. The jet stream is mainly to our north. We are getting some weak jet stream winds coming in right now. That's what's bringing out that system. Another system will come out tomorrow. It'll be a little farther north. Could see a few more showers and storms tomorrow. Again, western and northwestern Oklahoma. And then after that, it's all about the heat dome, and it's going to move in overhead. If it were August, we'd be well over 100 next week. But it's not. Days are not that long. Nights are longer. What do we get out of it? And also I want to point out that system, the end of next week, it looks like it looked good for a while. Now it's not looking so good. We'll try to bring in a weak cool front in here by the end of next week. All right, so overnight, a couple showers, a few thunderstorms in the north. Most of you in the north will be dry. Lows tonight in the 60s, upper 60s in the west. Now tomorrow morning with that system, a couple showers mainly north of Oklahoma City. Not a big deal. Highs tomorrow, we'll do a 90 here in Oklahoma City. Mid-90s in the north, low to mid-90s out west. Fairly breezy to windy tomorrow, especially out west. A little hotter than today and tomorrow afternoon and evening. A couple showers and storms in the far west again. They'll go up during the heating of the day and they'll diminish early tomorrow evening. And then Saturday, hey, highs in the 90s, hot, hot, hot. Slight chance for a shower thunderstorm in the northwest Saturday. And there's your Sunday. Mid-90s, upper 90s across the north. We will have 100s in Oklahoma next week. I think Oklahoma City stays in the mid-90s. Still too hot. There is that little cool down. By the way, yeah, yeah. Next Thursday, a fall officially arrives. There's your cool down. I know, I know, not much. Highs into the upper 80s for maybe a day or two. We'll take all the help we can get. Carl, back to you. Racking.